Hi, I'm Alice Munua. Uh, I'm the director of the Africa Innovation uh, Program at Mozilla, and I'm going to explain data protection. So data is any kind of distinctive uh, piece of information which can be stored and which can be read, processed, or understood by a human or a machine. Data now extends to our images, our speech, our daily patterns, and so on. So why do companies collect data? And not just companies, governments also collect quite a lot of data. Businesses have various abilities to contextualize data and draw insights from it. And in fact, over the years, some companies have created and used very sneaky techniques to understand you know, customer behavior online and also offline. What are some of the specific reasons that companies do this? You know, to improve customer experience. A lot of companies can modify uh, their digital presence, their goods or services to better suit uh, the current marketplace. Companies also collect uh, data to understand how consumers are engaging with and responding to their marketing campaigns. Data brokers or data service providers that buy and sell information on you uh, have risen uh, as a new industry uh, alongside uh, what we are calling big data. Your location, your activity, your preferences, your demographics is collected on a daily basis. Data can be used to increase efficiencies. For example, with the current public health crisis, COVID, it can help improve how we react or how we address uh, health uh, challenges. It can also increase efficiencies in areas like agriculture by improving uh, supply chains or in education by improving online delivery. The big question is who owns my data and how do I keep all of that private? To go back to the COVID crisis with the contact tracing apps that most governments were insisting that you download on your phones, what is to stop states and companies from using this information? In Kenya, my country, they were requesting that everybody residing in Kenya provide their DNA sample, earlobe geometry, iris scan, your GPS, your fingerprint, for a biometric digital ID system. We need additional safeguards, uh, especially when it comes to our health data. If you recall back in 2017, there was a global scandal surrounding the British company Cambridge Analytica, and that kind of served as a wake-up call for much stronger data protection. GDPR lays out uh, the rules of data capture, storage, usage, and sharing for companies. It's a law that's applicable to any business that targets or collects the personal data of EU citizens. The California Consumer Privacy Act, it requires you as an individual to opt out of data collection rather than putting the onus or the responsibility on the companies or the service providers themselves. The African Union has a convention on cybercrime and personal data protection called the Malabo Convention to protect users in the Africa region. And out of the 55 African countries, more than half have adopted some form of regulation. The protection of personal information is really fundamental uh, to, to non-discrimination, to human dignity, uh, to the freedoms that we enjoy, the freedom of speech, uh, freedom of movement, freedom of association, freedom of trade. And so those rights are central to any open and democratic society. I would like to call on everyone to join Mozilla as we fight for an internet that is dependable, that is secure, that is trustworthy, where access is universal and accessible to all, internet that respects and adheres to ethics, that is open, decentralized, interoperable, and also where we continue to advocate uh, for uh, participatory governance structures, you know, uh, that empower rather than extract and exploit uh, individuals and, and users specifically.